Hi everyone, thanks again for watching. Today's actually, um, it's like a take two of a video. I did it yesterday and I looked at it and I thought, yeah, it's really good, can't wait to put it up. And then this morning, looked at it again, I'm thinking, oh, it's not too bad. It's passable, I'll still put it up there. And then the Virgo in me came out and I just looked at it before and I'm like, oh, I don't really like it. So I'm just gonna recreate it again. Um, it's a bit of fun, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the look is actually a request. So thank you, Sabina, for requesting that. Um, Sabina sent me through an image of Miranda Kerr um, and she looks absolutely adorable in this image. Um, and also Kaleidoscope, who wanted me to use my NARS Exhibit A. I am going to use that in the video, so it's perfect. I'm going to start off today, actually, I'm going to just pin my fringe back because I know that will annoy me, so I'm just going to pin that back. And I'm just going to start off by using um, the MAC C4. Her, her skin looks absolutely just flawless, but also quite dewy, so I think it's a great uh, foundation for that, and it's not too heavy coverage. And I'm just going to apply that with my fingers. So just pop that on and remember just to warm it up in your fingers. Then you can just kind of dab it around and then blend that in. So that's the foundation done. I'm next going to take um, a raised paste by Benefit, and this is in number two. And I'm just going to apply that actually with my finger and just under the eyes. So kind of dot a little bit around and just tap that on. You don't need to rub it. You don't need to do anything else. Just really light taps. With the eyes, I'm going to start off, she has in the image quite a bronzy, shimmered um, eye, so I'm going to start off by using Woodwinked by um, MAC. I've used it in a few videos um, in a few weeks back, so you know which one I'm talking about. And I'm going to apply that with my MAC 217 over the entire lid just here. Just softly just blend it up. Take a little bit of that as well and we're going to take it underneath the eye. All the way across. Miranda seems to have like a red toned um, ready brown eyeshadow higher up in her eye so I'm going to take uh, Cranberry from MAC and I love this colour, it's just beautiful probably one of my favourites at the moment um, so I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of that with the same 217 brush so I'm just going to take it like that and then just take some off on my hand so you're not take, putting too much and then just blend really, really soft, just up here. Just like that. I'm so softly just touching my eye, not getting too, too much on there. Again from MAC, I'm gonna use Embark and just line that corner outer eye just under there. And with that, I'm just going to apply it with my MAC 239 brush. So just in this little corner right here. Really light. 
For mascara today, I'm going to use the Dior Show Iconic in black. Just apply a few layers of those. I'm absolutely adoring Miranda Kerr at the moment. She is in Australia for the David Jones Spring Summer Launch. Um, anyone overseas, David Jones is like a big department store. So she's in town for that, which is great. And I've seen so many photos of her and heard um, a lot of radio interviews. And I just find her stunning. And those dimples and those eyes, she's just beautiful. In the still, um, it looks like Miranda has emphasis on the corner lashes. So I'm just going to use these today. They're just little corner um, lashes. So I'm going to pop those on. Just remember when you get ones like that, the smallest or the thinnest, um, shortest hair needs to start on the inside and then it goes out to the longest. And we just apply those right on the corner. So they've been drying for about 30 seconds. I'm just going to pop those on. Just on the corner and as close to your lash line as possible. These little corner lashes are very, very accessible. So if you um, maybe head to like a uh, price line, definitely find them. A Boots would sell them, probably a Walmart. So they the lashes included. They're really nice. I like little corner lashes. Um, now for the eyebrows. I am going to just get this brush and um, just brush my eyebrows up. Miranda has quite thick, beautiful lashes. So, I mean, eyebrows. So I am going to draw some eyebrows on. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia brow pen and just draw little hairs on there. Now for a bit of 3D effect, I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz uh, in medium ash and just draw a few strands using this pencil. So there the eyebrows done. I'm next going to um, get onto the cheek. So this is the fun bit. And I'm going to use Exhibit A from NARS and my MAC 109 brush. And you only need the slightest um, colour. So I'm even going to just take as much as I can off on there before I start applying. And just really, really softly on the apples of the cheeks. You can apply that. So that's the blusher done. Um, and now for the lips, I'm going to take Lancome Rouge Intense, number 104, and just line the lips.
For the lipstick, I'm going to use um, Lancome and it is 145 Color Fever and it is nice red. I mentioned this but if you do want to see the photo I'm recreating I think I did say it just check out my blog I can't actually ever post uh, photos and up mine on this so you can jump on my blog Just to powder that off, I'm going to use uh, MAC, it is the Mineralized Skin Finish in the natural one, and it's in medium, just on my T-zone, really, really light, so I'm just going to even take off the excess, just like that. That is the final uh, Miranda Kerr inspired makeup look, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've just chuck my hair to this side because that's how it is in the photo um, I can't add her beautiful gorgeous dimples or her stunning blue eyes but uh, this is what it is and it's inspired makeup so enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you all soon bye